Okay, guys, what's up? It's Steven again. I did a video about half an hour ago about exposing figures ain't for being liars. Well, they aren't the only people that lie. As far as replica belts goes, you can say the same thing about AJS belts. I don't know if you've ever heard of them, but their website is www.ajsbelts.com. They are also known as exclusive replica belts on Facebook. And anytime I've ordered replica belts from them, I haven't had a problem. Now, two instances I've had problems with them is once, about last year, I ordered two die-cut nameplates. I wanted to do something different. I am a licensed amateur radio operator, and I wanted to have my call letters, KC5KXO, engraved on the plate. So I ordered them, and it took me about a month and a half to get them. And I emailed them about a month, and I'm like, hey, guys, where are my nameplates? And the email I got from the owner was that the order had been lost and they had to be redone. Sounds kind of shady, doesn't it? But that's not the, rain, the uh, main purpose of this video. The main purpose of this video is why you want to completely stay away from AJS belts and more than anything, don't order a pro-grade strap. This is my original 2001 WWF Big Eagle. I got this used on eBay for about $98. That includes shipping. I couldn't believe the bid didn't go any higher. The strap that came with the belt was the original 2001 simulated leather strap, and it was in such bad shape. I'm not giving AJS belts any kudos, but this strap is a billion times better than the simulated leather strap I had with the belt because it was almost cracked in half right in between the main plate and this side plate here was nearly cracked in half. Now this strap here, really and truly, I can't recommend AJS belts because qual it's crappy quality. Look at the snap boxes, they're sewn in. It has a backing along the uh, back of the belt which is sewn into place. You can see right there where it's the thread is sewn in. It has this kind of Midwest style clamshell design, which I don't have a, really have a problem with. But not every single belt that had this. And with AJS belts, you can't get, like if you wanted to re-leather a WWF smoking skull, you couldn't get a, you know, a snakeskin backing. They don't have choice of the backing. All they have is the suede backing and the choice of strap color. And they don't even have that, that many choices as far as color goes. Anyway, if you want to order, uh, get a belt from uh, somebody, I would advise looking at Wrestling Superstore or uh, High Spots. Hell, even eBay. Do not order from AJS Belts, so Robbie Blind. I ordered this belt, and it was about this strap, and it took me about three months to get it. Three months for this. I can understand that with a belt maker. If you want a leather strap, if you want to get your belt re-leathered, go to a belt maker. Go to a guy like uh, Paul Martin, or uh, I know the guy's name, Mike Nicolai, I think, or ProChampionshipBelts.Weebly.com, or, um, you know, Belt Performance, you know, Billy Loomis. But any, anybody except AJS Belts.